Chapter 3 Introduction to MS Word 2016 Topics covered Opening MS Word 2016 Creating a new document Entering text in a document Editing text Saving and opening a document Closing the document Printing the document Opening MS Word 2016 Step 1. Choose Start Step 2. Select all apps where a list of all our applications can be seen. Step 3. Select Word 2016. A startup screen as shown below will be displayed on our desktop. From here, we'll be able to create a new document, choose a template, and access our recently edited documents. From the Start screen, Locate and select blank document to access the Word interface. MS Word 2016 A screen is presented before us. Quick Access Toolbar Title Bar Help Minimize Maximize Close File Tab Ribbon Status Bar Scroll Bar Document Area Cursor. We will find a blinking cursor on the top left side of the window, waiting for us to type the text. The word window has many parts. Some of them are described below. 1. Title bar. It is located on top of MS Word window. It displays the program name. By default, it shows document 1. The minimize, maximize, and close buttons are placed on the right side of the title bar. 2. Ribbon. The ribbon is located just below the title bar. It has two parts tabs and groups. File, Home, Insert and Layout are some tabs on the ribbon. Clicking on a tab, displays groups of commands. 3. File tab. The file tab is the first tab on the ribbon. On clicking the file tab, we can create a new file, open an existing file, save a file, print a file and perform other tasks. 4. Document Area It is the large area where we can type, edit and format the text. 5. Status Bar It displays information like page numbers, position of cursor, etc. It is located at the bottom of the document window. 6. Scroll Bars The scroll bars let us view the different areas of the window by moving the screen. We can move the screen display towards right or left using the horizontal scroll bar and scroll it up and down with the help of the vertical scroll bar. Cyber Tidbits Microsoft Word is a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, program, that is, the screen shows exactly how the document will look in a printout. Creating a new document To create a new file, follow these steps. Click on the File tab and select the new option. The Backstage view appears. Click on Blank Document. A new Word document opens. Cyber Tidbits. We can also right-click on the desktop, and select the new Greater than Microsoft Word document. Entering text in a document. Once the new document is open, we can start typing in the document using the keyboard. While typing, when we reach the end of the line, we will find that the cursor automatically gets shifted to the next line. This feature of Word is called Word Wrap. To start a new paragraph, simply press the Enter key. Editing Text Microsoft Word 2016 allows us to edit the text in a document. When we edit text, we change it, format it. Move it from one place in the document to another or delete some text completely. Selecting text. To perform any action on the text, like copying, moving, deleting or formatting, etc., we need to select the text. Selecting text is easy and done in three easy steps. Step 1. Move the cursor to the beginning of the text that we want to select. Step 2. Click and hold the left button of the mouse. Step 3. Drag it over the text we want to select. It will highlight the selected text, as shown. Simply release the mouse button when we are finished selecting text. 
Cyber Tidbits. To select the entire document, simply click on the Home tab and click Select on the right in the Editing group. Click the downward arrow beside Select and choose Select All. Adding New Text Word allows us to add new text to an already existing document. To do so, Step 1. Place the cursor at the point where we want to add the text. Step 2. Start typing the required text. Step 3. The type text will appear in the document. Deleting text. Word offers us various ways of deleting the text and partial or complete content of the document. The most basic deletion technique is to delete characters one at a time by pressing either the backspace key or the delete key. Step 1. To delete some text, select the text and press the delete key. Step 2. To delete text to the left of the insertion point, press the backspace key on the keyboard. Step 3. To delete text to the right of the insertion point, press the delete key on the keyboard. Moving the text. At times, it is required to move a text from one location to another location. To move the text, Follow these steps. Step 1. Select the text we want to move. Click on the Cut button in the Clipboard group on the Home tab, or press Ctrl plus X. Step 2. The text disappears from the document and is temporarily placed on the clipboard. Step 3. Position the cursor at the location where we want to place the selected text. Step 4. Click on the Paste button, or press Ctrl plus V. The selected text appears at the desired location. Cyber Tidbits We can also use drag and drop method to move the text to a new location. Select the text we want to copy. Click and drag the text to the location where we want it to appear. A small rectangle will appear below the arrow to indicate that we are moving the text. Release the mouse, and the text will appear. Copying the text Copy option is used to duplicate the text. The only difference between copy slash paste and cut slash paste features is that the copy feature copies the text, but does not remove the text from its original place as the cut feature does. Step 1. Select the text we want to copy. Click on the copy button in the clipboard group on the home tab or press Ctrl plus C. Step 2. A copy of the selected text is placed on the clipboard. Step 3. Position the cursor at the desired place. Click on the Paste button in the Clipboard group on the Home tab or press Ctrl plus V. Step 4. The copied text appears at its new location in the document. Undo and Redo The Undo and Redo are very useful commands on the standard toolbar. The undo command goes back to the last action performed. The redo command is helpful in retaining a particular task which has been undone by mistake. Saving a document After working on the document, we should save it properly so that it can be accessed whenever required. We must save our file with a name that can be easily remembered with file extension docx. The three main methods of saving the file are Click the Save button on the Quick Access toolbar. Or, press Ctrl key plus S on the keyboard. A Save As dialog box will appear that will save the file to an appropriate location. Or, Step 1. Click on File. Step 2. Click on Save. Step 3. Double click the option This PC. Save As dialog box will open. Step 4. Save the file at an appropriate location. Step 5. Give a name to the document. Step 6. Click the Save button. Opening a document. We may need to open a saved document anytime. The steps to open a document are as follows. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Select the Open option from the drop-down menu. Step 3. Double click the option This PC. The open dialog box will appear. Step 4. Locate and select the file name to be opened. Step 5. Click on the open button. Closing the document. Step 1. Click on file. Step 2. Click on close. Step 3. 
If the changes in a document are not saved, MS Word will prompt us to save the changes. Step 4. Click Save. To close without saving, click Don't Save. This will close the document and will not save the changes. Printing the document. After completing the work, it's time to take a printout to print a document. Step 1. Click on File. Click on Print option. Step 2. Select the type of printer. Step 3. Choose the page numbers to be printed. Step 4. Select the number of copies to be printed. Step 5. Once all the choices are made, click Print button.